hello viewers in today's class we are going to uh, learn uh, how to uh, integrate a function of this form right so here uh, we are going to discuss one problem uh, which is based on the integration of uh, uh, this type of uh, function right so here uh, let us first uh, see uh, the function or that is the integrand so our integrand uh, has uh, two terms in the denominator right so the first one is uh, the quadratic form and the second one is also a quadratic form but uh, the quadratic form is uh, inside the uh, square root sign right so this is also uh, quadratic but uh, it is under the uh, square root sign right so uh, here uh, we are going to solve this problem uh, based on this form right so let us start right so here we if we compare uh, these two uh, functions then we see that ax square plus b is equal to 1 plus x square and cx square plus d is equal to 1 minus x square right okay so now uh, in order to uh, integrate uh, this function uh, we are going to use the method of uh, uh, substitution right and uh, in this problem uh, we have to uh, apply the method of substitution at uh, two times right so we'll apply the method of substitution two times now let us see how we can do this right so uh, let us uh, start and here uh, let us first call this integral as i right now the uh, first step of uh, substitution is uh, we will put x is equal to uh, 1 over t right so we'll change the uh, variable from x to t so the first substitution is to put x is equal to 1 over t so therefore uh, dx over dt is equal to uh, minus 1 over t square right so therefore dx is equal to minus dt over uh, t square right okay now uh, we'll uh, put uh, these two uh, expressions uh, in the given integral right so therefore uh, the given integral it becomes uh, integral of uh, 1 over uh, 1 plus x square so for x square we have 1 over t square right and here we have square root of 1 minus 1 over t square right so for x we have 1 over t and for dx we have minus dt over t square right okay now we have to simplify this integral and we can now uh, write uh, 1 over uh, t square plus 1 over t square and here we have uh, square root of t square minus 1 over t because t square uh, uh, the square root of t square is t right and uh, here we have a uh, minus uh, dt over t square right okay now let us uh, uh, further simplify it so t square times t is uh, t cube so we have t cube in the numerator and we have t square plus 1 and here we have uh, a square root of t square minus 1 and here we have minus dt over t square right now this t square and uh, here uh, get cancelled these two terms and uh, we are left with only uh, t raised to 1 
so we have now integral uh, we can take this negative sign outside so we are left with t dt t dt and we have in the denominator t square plus 1 times square root of t square minus 1 right okay so the first uh, substitution has given us this integral right now in the uh, second uh, uh, step of substitution uh, we have to uh, substitute uh, u square is equal to uh, t square minus 1 right so what we have done here uh, we are now taking uh, u square is equal to t square minus 1 or u is equal to square root of t square minus 1 so uh, u is the uh, second uh, variable right so it means now we are changing the variable t to u right okay so now from here uh, if we differentiate both sides we will get 2u uh, du is equal to 2t dt and uh, this 2 and this 2 get cancelled and we have u du is equal to t dt right so we are uh, see here for this t dt uh, we have u uh, du right okay so now uh, this uh, integral it now becomes i is equal to uh, minus integral for t dt we have u du and for t square plus 1 we have for t square uh, we can write uh, u square plus 1 right so we have u square plus 1 plus 1 and uh, we have here a square root of uh, t square minus 1 and t square minus 1 is uh, u square right okay so now i is minus uh, u du and uh, here we have u square plus 2 and for square root of u square uh, we have simply u now this u and this u get cancelled and we are left with minus integral of du over u square plus 2 right so now we see that how we have simplified the original integral by uh, making two substitutions right the first one is x is equal to 1 over t and the second one is u is equal to square root of t square minus 1 right so now uh, i can further be written as uh, du over uh, u square plus square root of 2 uh, square right now it can easily be seen that uh, this uh, integral has uh, now become a uh, known integral and we know that uh, dx over uh, x square plus a square the integral of 1 over x square plus a square is equal to 1 over a tan inverse x over a right so now we'll apply uh, this formula to evaluate this integral where u is uh, capital x and a is a constant which is equal to square root of 2 right so now viewers uh, i is equal to uh, minus and here we have 1 over a and a is uh, square root of 2 to uh, so we have 1 over square root of 2 and tan inverse uh, u over square root of 2 right and c is the constant of integration right because this is the indefinite integral right now uh, this is the value of this integral and now we can simply uh, replace uh, uh, u uh, by uh, square root of uh, uh, t square minus 1 right because uh, we have assumed that u square is equal to t square minus 
1 so we have this result right now t can further be uh, replaced by uh, 1 over x because we have assumed x is equal to 1 over t so i is minus 1 over root 2 and this is tan inverse square root of 1 over x square minus 1 over square root of 2 plus c and i is minus 1 over square root of 2 tan inverse and we have square root of 1 minus x square over x root 2 plus c right so viewers the uh, value of uh, this type of integral which is of this form is uh, given by uh, this expression right